Okay, so I'm back with another video, but this time I'm going to take it to another direction. I want to start to talk about college freshman advice or, you know, transfer students advice. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos talking about, um, you know, survival skills for college students. And it's really important that, you know, a lot of people watch these videos because a lot of students go into school and they don't know what's about to come, like, for them. College is a very tough experience, but it's also what you make it. Um, and if you have, you know, some advice or things in your mind to help you, then it will it will help you out uh, eventually. Because I know starting, it's kind of hard and you have to get, get used to adjusting in that transition from you know high school life living with your parents and you know your friends that you've had forever to maybe moving to a new state and going to a new school where you don't know anyone and your parents are far away or it's just that whole readjustment of life so I have some tips um they're kinda like real life tips of stuff that really goes on in college um the first tip is about your dorm life and your roommate life you'll either love your roommate or you'll hate your roommate um, sometimes they put you with bad roommates because some schools do not do the personality profiles where they match people that will mesh well together. Some just put random people together and you just get who you get. My tip is when you first move in to make sure that you are friendly and considerate of the other person and you really need to get to know the person that you're living with. This is someone that you'll be living with maybe for a whole year and you know you want to be able to trust them at least know a few things about them um you know it's also important to lay out some guidelines uh after you get to know the person you don't want to just go in there and say this is this this is that don't do this don't do that because that's that's really rude um after you really get to know your roommate it's important to let them know things that bother you things that you don't like or like letting them know you don't want visitors past a certain hour or you know if you do have visitors please don't let them go into my side of the room or um, if you can take out your trash this time because it smells or something like that you know um, so that they can know so that you can live comfortably you're paying for a dorm room you want to be able to live comfortably and I'm sure that they will have some things that they don't want to go on while they're living there as well so if you guys can just sit down and really get to the bottom of things and you know lay out guidelines so that no one crosses them and you can have a great year with this roommate and hopefully they might be a roommate for the rest of the four years that you're there um but if you if you find it hard living with someone and you know it's not it's, you're not adjusting you're not meshing well with the person they're they're not considerate of your space or they have people over and you really don't trust the people that they're having or you just simply don't trust your roommate um i'm pretty sure there's a way that you can go to housing and request a new room um a new room or a new roommate or perhaps a single room which may cost a little bit more but Definitely after a few months of the first semester, people have moved out or changed rooms. So there will be different types of rooms available. Or you might be able to get into a dorm that you wanted in the first place. So definitely consider that too if you're not getting along with your roommate. Another thing about your roommate is when you first move in, you do not know this person, nor do you trust this person yet. Unless they're a friend that you've already known and you guys decided to room together. But Considering that, you definitely need to keep your personal and uh, most prized possessions locked away somewhere or hidden or, you know, take them with you. Like if you have a nice camera, definitely get like a, um, like a chest or something that locks and take the key with you. Make sure you lock it every time you leave. Or if you have a laptop, t try to take your laptop with you when you are not in the room. If you have like an iPod or iPad, don't leave it just sitting around on your bed because you never know who your roommate might have over while you are gone and they may take your things. Um, so definitely be mindful of your personal possessions. Okay. Moving on to your dining experience. If you're living on or off campus, um, you can choose to purchase a meal plan. And I know for most freshmen, you have to have a meal plan. Um, 
people have these like things about the dining calf or whatever thinking that the food is like terrible when actuality it's not that bad and you're paying some over three thousand dollars a year for this meal plan you may as well use it you know if you're hungry don't skip breakfast just because you're scared of the calf food because of rumors you know the food is not bad they will not they will not serve you food that is not you know good for you um but definitely consider always going to the calf for breakfast if you have morning classes or you know maybe like a 10 10 or 11 o'clock class definitely consider using the calf for breakfast it's really important that you have breakfast if you're going on about your day and trying to concentrate and you're having to walk around campus definitely use your meal plan and dining options for breakfast um as well as dinner because as the night goes on and, and you don't have snacks in your room or you know you don't have money to order a pizza definitely utilize the dining hall and your meal plan to get dinner um because you don't want to be up at like 10 p.m or 11 p.m and starving when you could have just eaten in the dining the dining hall um so definitely use your meal plan and go to the dining hall if you are hungry do not just skip it because you're afraid of the food the food is not as bad as you think moving on to class schedules first things first if you are not a morning person do not do not sign up for morning classes um it will be very difficult for you to wake up at you know 7 30 to get ready for your eight o'clock class if you don't like waking up early so i would recommend when getting your schedule to um try to find classes maybe 10 p.m after and you know just just work with that until you're used to waking up at an earlier time but i do recommend getting over that whole not morning person thing because some classes you might only might only be available at 8 a.m for you and you really need to take those courses so you need to get adjusted to waking up early and just making that sacrifice for that class um always try to be on time to class professors do not like when someone's just walking in towards the middle of class it's really rude um and it's kind of like a waste of your time because you know most classes are about 50 minutes long and you're showing up halfway through you've missed a lot of work and most professors don't like people that are late and they're probably not going to help you if you're late all the time so definitely try to be on time and try to manage your time and your schedule so that you're always on time so that you don't miss anything that's important but if you do have to you know if there's something that's really making you have to be late or to miss a class definitely um, try to make friends in that class or acquaintances and exchange contact information such as your cell phone number or email so that when you do miss class you can always text or email them and they can fill you in on what happened and vice versa um, now going into making friends at school this is probably the hardest part of college is you know the whole new friends thing especially if you're out of state and you don't know anyone or you know um, you're going to a school where no, none of your friends from high school went or you just simply don't know anybody the first thing is definitely trying to get to know your roommate because that may be you know your best friend for the next four years to a lifetime so definitely take the time to get to know them first and um, if you're an incoming freshman it's important to um, get on Facebook over the summer and there's always like a group for the new class incoming class that people join and you can definitely just um, type type some messages up on there and maybe meet people and get to know people before you get to go to school but if you didn't have a chance to do that or maybe you're coming in for the spring semester as a freshman um, definitely don't fret if you don't make friends in the first few weeks it's definitely okay you will not you know die because you don't have friends like some people are hard to make friends with or some people have a hard time making friends um, because maybe they're shy or whatever but with making friends it's going to happen naturally you can't force it and you can't let it dictate your happiness at school take your time and really get to feel people out before you kind of talk to just anybody because certain people 
can ruin your reputation if you don't even know who they are and you're just trying to make a random friend and people see you with that person and that person's reputation is eh, kind of bad you don't want to be associated with that person so definitely take your time with making friends um, you want to avoid as much drama as possible as well um, but if you're still having difficulties and it's making you feel down um, try to join clubs uh, like extracurricular clubs or organizations you can definitely well you can really make really good friends there because these people are interested in the same things that you are and you guys might mesh really well so because you're in you're in the same types of clubs you have the same interest so definitely try to consider that um, and if all else fails just tag along with your roommate's friend. Just ask, if is, is it okay if I come eat with you guys for lunch? Or, you know, are you guys going to the mall? Can I head with you? You never know. You might make friends with your roommate's friends. Um, it's really all as bad as you make it. So if you are just being very pessimistic because you're not making friends, you're not. it's not going to change. But if you have a more positive outlook and you try to put yourself out there more, then you'll def you will most likely make more friends. Um, and like I said, it takes time to really get to know people. So don't fret. Like, it will happen for you. You will make friends. So don't let that dictate your happiness or make you want to leave or, or anything. Like, just stick it out because you will make friends. And that's not, and making friends is not the most important thing about school. It is, it is up there, but it's not the most important thing. You are there to get your degree. Um, you're you're there to network as well. So, um, building building um, relationships is very important in college, and you'll learn along the way if you stick it out that you know it will happen eventually, and things will work out if you go out and try to make them work out for yourself. Because no one's going to come up to you and say, "Hey, be my friend." We're all grown here. No one has, like, no one, no one does that anymore. So maybe a few people, but no one really does that anymore. So you really have to go out and do this, do that for yourself. Um, dating. Dating is another crazy thing that goes on in school. When you first get there, your hormones are raging. You are alone. Your parents are not around. No one's there monitoring you. There's boys, there's girls. You're, you want to date, you want, you see attractive people everywhere and you're just going crazy, but definitely try to control that because, um, you know, some things might not work out and you just really, with going to school, you don't want to rush into anything as soon as you get there and possibly ruin the rest of your time there. So with dating, take your time, get to know people. Um, if a guy is trying to talk to you, make sure you let him know that, you know, you would like to go on a real date. Even though, you know, <sighs> college is expensive and some people don't have, you know, the funds. But just, like, just hang out with him on, like, an outside of the dorm room basis. Maybe go for a walk or go eat um, lunch together or something to really get to know who they really are and not lay on your back to get to know who they are. Um... So be be careful with, you know, guys in college, especially um upperclassmen um trying to dig in on the freshmen. They they know that you guys are really excited to be there and they will take advantage of you. So definitely be very careful of, you know, a lot of guys out there and it's also it's not bad to be single while you're in school it will help you focus more um and let you make more friends versus being stuck having to have an obligation with someone that you're dating um and you know you're really not there to to date you're there to get your education but you know it will happen if you want it to happen and or if you're one person that you know likes to be single then good for you keep it up now let's talk about sex while we're on the topic of dating. If you are sexually active in college, make sure that you wear a condom. If you are a female, there are ways to get free condoms. It is okay to walk around, or not walk around, but it's okay to have condoms. Like, you don't want to be 
to not have one and be in the moment and just not use one and possibly get pregnant or an STD that may be permanent. So definitely wrap it up if you are sexually active and be careful who you have sex with. Do not just have sex with any random guy that tells you you're this and that. Just be very careful and be cautious. And I say that because in colleges, if, even if it's small or large, word spreads quickly. And if you're just having sex with a guy and you meet a guy that you really like, he may be friends with that guy and he's like, oh, we had sex. And then that ruins your chances. So definitely keep your legs closed and don't, don't rush into having sex with anybody. Um, but if you do or if you're that type of person, wrap it up. STDs are very, very prominent on college campuses, so be very careful. Um, be Just wrap it up, please. Um, now let's go on to money. Money, money, money. Um, most college kids, well, I don't want to say most, but a lot of students get a refund check um, at school. And some don't. Some have to work a part-time job or some have to do work study or some people's parents still fund their education. So um, with money, um, try to use your meal plans and definitely try to go into the financial aid office and talk to financial advisors about, you know, um, work study jobs and just like any types of jobs that they know of that can help you. Um, they will try to help you as much as they can, especially if you let them know that you're very needy of money because your funds are very low. You came to college with just enough to make to meet your financial need. And then, you know, you may have a phone bill or you just need extra money. Um, just let them know. And I'm pretty sure they will try to work with you as much as they can. Um, but if you can't, just look out there for a part time job. I know it may be hard to try to work and do school but if you need the money you need to get you need to try to obtain it um, in the best most legal safe way as possible by getting a a job like a normal job do not try to get into any type of illegal type of things for money it, it's going it might ruin the rest of your life or the rest of your college career um, now, since we're on the topic of money, I want to talk about budgeting your refund check. Um, people that get refunds, it's like, you know, you're in high school, you don't get that lump sum of money in a check, so you're, you're excited and you want to just spend it all on tattoos or clothes or shoes or food or whatever you want to spend it on. It's okay, like, it's okay to want to get clothes and shoes and stuff like that, but just be mindful that this might be the only money that you have for that semester. So don't just spend it all and then, you know, two months down the line you're dead broke and you don't know what to do. So try to budget and be very careful and mindful of what you're buying and what you're spending. Um, try to put it in a savings. Um, it's I think it's a good idea to save your refund money for uh, summer courses. You can just pay for your summer courses if you don't get financial aid for summer school. That's a good idea. Um, and that's just something to think about. Okay, now let's talk about parties. There will be a lot of parties. Some, some students live off campus and have apartments and they may invite you to a house party or there might be some clubs that you want to go to. So with that, or even dorm parties, so with that, my advice is to be very careful. Be very, very careful these days with parties. Um, if, you, if you choose to drink, drink responsibly. Know your limit. I know some don't take drinks from anybody unless you uh, pour the drinks yourself. And if you are a drinker, just be mindful of your limit. Um, just try to just limit yourself to one drink and just be responsible like if you're underage you shouldn't be drinking anyways but I know some people like to have fun so and they find drinking to just be fun just be very careful a lot of bad stuff has been happening lately and it's just it's just just be mindful of your surroundings make sure you bring a friend that you trust um, with you someone that you know is responsible if you're not a responsible person just 
bring that person with you so that you're not alone and that you're not drunk off your booty, just drunk, laying around, and people are taking advantage of you. And don't do drugs. Like, if you've never done drugs before, just don't even try it. Like, it's not really worth it. Um, and you don't, you just don't want to be in a situation that's uncomfortable or that puts you in, in harm's way. Because you're in school to learn and you're in school to get a degree. You're not in school to be harmed in any kind of way. So with parties, and also with parties, if you're going to go somewhere, let someone you trust know where you are. Besides, if you're going out with a friend, let someone else know that you're about to go somewhere and where you're going to be just in case you might come up missing because you were irresponsible. Just saying. Just just be careful. I just want everyone to know to be careful with the parties. Like, they're fun, but be careful. Um, and also, last thing is your emotions. Like, college can be hard and it can take a real toll on your emotions. You're just going through so much. It's a big transition and a big leap forward in life. So, make sure that you have someone that you trust that you can talk to no matter what. Um, if you don't... the most schools have a uh, a counselor that's certified in being able to talk to you when you're having an issue. So definitely use that and talk to that person and they will help you get through whatever you're going through. And if you don't want to go to that person, find have a friend maybe back home or a family member that you really trust and just let them know what's going on and maybe they can guide you through, you know, anything that you're having a problem with and just know that it gets better in school and it's worth it like everything that you go through will be worth it in the end because you'll get your degree and you'll have the career that you want so just try to stick it out as much as possible and know that why you're there and don't lose touch of who you are you may grow into a new person but don't don't lose touch of who you are and don't lose touch of your morals while you're in school and stay focused on why you're there and stay focused on why you're paying so much to be there. Um, but that's the end of the video. If anyone has any questions or comments,